I'm Aurora Scala, and I'm an archaeologist here in BC. And for the last uh, four years, I've spent time researching rock art in the province and also helped to revitalize the practice of creating rock art. So I think that the most important preservation work that goes on in British Columbia is actually education. And this is probably true worldwide, all over the world, about protecting rock art sites. It's not only about what a scientist or a uh, First Nations descendant community might be interested in doing to preserve that particular rock art site, to make sure it's not looted, or to make sure we have really high quality photographs of the site. Probably the most important th thing the work is going on is education. I think it's initiatives like this one that educate a wide audience about the importance of um, protecting rock art sites um, and treating them with respect. And, uh, you know, especially at a time when sea level is rising, for example, and some of the rock art sites are going further below sea level. Preservation is in part about making sure we have really good records of those rock art sites before they erode completely. But um, I think the most important conservation work is in fact the work that goes on with uh, culturally continuous practices. So some of the work I do, the most fun part of the work I do, is working with First Nations youth who want to continue to learn about creating rock art. So I have made uh, his, you know, historical paint recipes with uh, First Nations youth. We've, we've explored that and researched what paint was being made in the past, and we've actually made new pictographs. And I think that kind of cultural continuity of these practices so that um, the tradition is remembered and respected, I think that's actually the most important um, conservation work that's going on. It's not just about protecting the old sites, but also seeing that this practice is a living art that continues into the present day and future, and making sure that members of the general public who may or may not have a First Nations background are really aware of just how important this, um, these sites are, not only for the descendant communities, but also as a global legacy. Rock art is something that all of our ancestors did the world over. I mean, everyone all over the world is using ochre and uh, pecked stone to make these really important um, cultural statements. And I think that, uh, yeah, the legacy is really in education.